Please remember to hit like and subscribe and perhaps even become a member or patron to support the channel. Also, I want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wandra, Matthew Hall and Charlene Kelly for their amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simless Today, Darkness Falls Mod. So we have a lot we want to do this episode. I think I'm actually going to take this with me, uh, just in case we don't have time to come back here. What I'm going to do now is, we are going to do a few quests. Uh, so it's going to be this fetch, this Lady Killer Via. And then I want to open the trade routes, because opening trade routes allows you to find the Razor compound. And as soon as we're done with that, if we have time left, I really want to go try the small tech bunker via. Um, I hope we can get some laser tech, that would be damn awesome. But if not, then, oh well, well, we tried. <laughs> it's, it's, it's at least worth trying. So I'm going to definitely try and do that. Now we want to go that direction. I thought I might be able to put my bike up there and drive down. It was facing the wrong direction just now. But yeah, um, I think this is a waterworks. I, I, I can't remember exactly which place this is, though. So it might not be a waterworks. I should probably also kill uh, tumble for the bike and kill every single zombie we come across. Whoops. That was unfortunate just now. Yeah, I should probably kill every single zombie we come across because we need the XP. But for now, oh, it's this pure eye, yeah. We've done this one so many times already. That actually feels weird. Uh, we keep doing this one over and over and over again with the different mods and stuff. And this is a nice quest. Um, I can't remember. This, this is a level 4, right? Okay, I'm just gonna make sure we get as many levels as possible. We need skill points right now. Um, you don't actually in this mod want to level fast. You want to level as slow as possible. But there's stuff that I need to do and want to do before we start getting the big boys. So I want to make sure we quickly get as far as possible. We need more bookstores though. We need skill notes. No, we have all the classes, right? Except Hunter. Yeah, we don't have Hunter and we don't have Farmer. Um, Hunter Martial Class actually gives you the advanced extended magazine mod. That's the first thing. Unlock the advanced. If we can get that and put it on our guns, we're going to have so much more ammo and stuff on our guns. Okay, now where is... The, it's not this quest. It is this one, but it's in the front. And I'm on the wrong side. I was about to say, is it not this place? I could have sworn it's this one that has the quest. Okay, I'm going to park in such a way so we can get a make a getaway of here. And then we are just going to run as fast as we can. This is a level 4, so it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but yeah, we mustn't underestimate anything in this game. I think I'm just going to do the quest. We're not going to loot a ton of stuff right now. Um, I can go mining if we need resources. But now we just want to make sure we clear this whole place as fast as possible. And get as much as possible done as well. But I do need these. Uh, where's my... I did not bring my wrench with me. Damn. We do need electrical parts and stuff. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get resources by actually going and mining. So I'll leave it for now. I'm so tempted to grab all the cement and stuff over here. My goal right now is just to get as much done as possible. Uh, because I really want to see if we can't get to the bunker this episode as well. My aiming starts. Okay, let's do this. Guys, my power was out for a few hours today. And I actually... Uh, it looked at a stage like the power wasn't coming back on at all. Uh, which would have sucked. Because I need to do episodes. I need to record. I need to get stuff done. Where is down below? Okay, so we're going to go... It shows we are about 10 blocks away, so it's still not close enough. Although... I want to check something. It's like 4 meters away, so if I go through there, we should be able to get, uh, get grab it. But now we're just going to see how far we can get. I want to quickly run through these. As long as we don't get demons right now, that would be awesome. Um, I do think we are going to start getting more and more demons though, because especially since our game stage is high, even though this is only level 4 or tier 4 quest, soon all our stuff's going to go up, it's going to skyrocket. Please tell me that's just a tough zombie. And that's just tough, right? Tough zombie man. Okay, so if we see a red uh, tinge to them, then we know that's a... Oh, he's actually healing. If you see a red tinge, then we know that's the, the demonic one. People say that uh, they can see flames on the demons, but I can't. I see like an orbital belt around the uh, guys, but I don't know if that's what the people mean they see. That belt is definitely not fire. Although the last episode, it definitely looked like fire to me. Usually it just looks... I don't know. It, it's not fire at all. 
It looks more like an asteroid belt around the zombies than it does fire. If I'm not mistaken, there's going to be vultures over here. Nope, no vultures. Oh, there's a vulture. At least you don't get, like in Ways UK, um, the vulture effect and stuff. That's awesome. Oh, I need more of those red notes. If we can get the futures now notes from that other place, that's going to be awesome. That will be well worth it if we can actually get the futures now notes. Maybe be careful of Wandering Hordes, especially since Titans are in the Wandering Hordes. But so far, we're doing really well, I feel. Okay, breakthrough there. Oh. Probably close the doors behind me as well. We don't want any unwanted visitors from behind. Just please don't give me a Titan while I'm stuck in a building. I need to be outside being able to stack up against a tree or something if there's a Titan. Okay, so we need to go which way? Okay, I'm guessing it's not this way. <laughs> this is how you get up. You could also just get in here. Seems we're going to have to break this door down. Okay, now we go downstairs. I need to be careful. Guys, Feral Sense is a massive problem at the moment. As you guys know, we actually had a massive problem with the demons seeing us from far away because of Feral Sense. It was just way more powerful, basically. When uh, a demon or demonic zombies are able to sense you from so far away, you have a massive problem. If we actually had anti-rad mates like I have on me right now, if we had that when we did the uh, treasure chest, like the first time before we got overwhelmed, um, then we could have just destroyed the gate. But I didn't have, so I couldn't destroy the gate. So we had an endless spawn of zombie after zombie after zombie coming for us. That was insane. Okay, um... As long as we just shoot in a straight line, we should be safe. I need to actually see if we can't make the shotgun stronger as well. Ooh. Nice, level 31. I'll definitely go for all the final stashes and stuff. But other than that, we shouldn't waste time on any other loot than the uh, stashes. I can't reach. Okay, please. Oh yeah, I forgot. These are super, super full of stuff. Working stiff boxes in this mod are epic. It's awesome. I love it. Wait, what? Did I just hear a bear? Please tell me I heard wrong. Okay, we are on the same level as that box that we need to get right now. I'm being so cautious right now. I need to make as little noise as possible. Okay, we already killed the zombies on that side, so we should be safe. But this isn't the end of this place, is it? It still says clear areas, so there's definitely more to this place. Is it the vulture outside that I perhaps missed? It still shows clear areas, so I missed something. What did I miss? It's either a vulture or there's a zombie in the bathroom or... Oh, there's a bunker, yeah. Oh, it's this place. I hate this place. I hate it, I hate it. Last time we were overrun because I was careless. This time at least we have all the awesome guns in us, so we should be safe. I think I'm not mistaken, last time we died from like ferals. Feral radiators. Okay, we already found the supplies. Usually when it's a find quest, the supplies are back here. So it's weird not having the supplies back here. Okay. Is there a guy behind the stairs over there? Or on the other side of the wall? You see that, right? The effect on the stairs. You don't tell me. Oh, I think it might be underneath us. Ooh, yeah, it's from all underneath us. So I'm gonna have to throw molotovs and stuff and be very clever now. Oh, I need to be so, so, so damn careful. If I get overrun over here again from a dumb mistake, I think this time around I'm going to throw a few grenades. Uh, at least we do have the cobble in us, so that's going to save our bun uh, bums. Yeah, oh man, that's this place. It's a shame we can't get rid of these containers over here. What's that? Just a cowboy. Okay, so if I can do this... 
Get rid of the bodies over here. And do this. We should be safe. We should be more than safe. If I die after all of this. Okay, it's dropping where it's supposed to drop. Nice. Hello. Yeah, all of you wake up. All of you. That's a tough one over there. Okay, cool. It's a shame we don't have the normal grenades now. Holy crap. I almost killed myself. Oh, that was dumb. Right next to the barrels. That was super dumb just now. I even said that there's barrels over here. We need to be careful of the barrels. And then I go and actually blow myself up. Apparently someone said the drone is not... It is healing me. But I, I, back to when I thought it was healing me earlier, it wasn't healing me at all. Yes, yeah, says return to trader so all the zombies are dead. Let me just put these on. So there shouldn't be any zombies left over here now because it says uh, we're done with the quest. We can just go back to the trader. Um, I want to place this in front of the door at least. Then this one. I want to see how fast this actually opens up. Man, look at that. Just power attacks. It's not even the max level yet. We can put so many more mods on this thing if it's a higher level. So soon we'll be able to open up these chests in no time at all. Okay, uh, let's see. Ammo pile? Nope. Electronics. I need to actually scrap every single schematic we come across right now because I want the other classes. Oh, nice. Morale booster. That's the morale, right? What are the chances of getting two drone things? One for light, one for morale. This basically makes your stamina regen faster when the drone is around you. That's actually awesome. The fact that we just got both of those in the same breath. Awesome. I think it's actually rare to get both of them like that, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay, do be careful. Sometimes, even though the quest is done, there's still zombies in the place. I don't know why it's that way, but it does work that way. And we need to be careful when you climb out of a building like this. Just now, a wandering horde decided, you know what, let's just go around. Oh, hello. Come on. There you go. There you go. Wait, where is it now? It's trying to glitch through the world to try and get to me. Okay, so my vehicle is... Which side? This side, right? It only shows on the minimap. It sucks sometimes that it doesn't show exactly where. I mean, even the uh, uh, marks are... Uh, Temporary mile milestone markers, what do you call this? Waypoints? This thing shows on the map. I hate it when it does that because I can't take proper screenshots. But the bike doesn't pop up until you're right next to the bike. But yeah, hopefully my drone actually comes with me because it seems it's stuck in the ground. We're gonna drop these. Ooh, crucible, nice. We got some really good loot from in there, damn. Okay, I should probably drop all of the gun parts and stuff. Oh, I need to hurry up, hurry up. It's getting late. I really don't like driving around at night. It's sometimes just way too dangerous. It's uh, too many unpredictables. Boom, boom, boom. Ammo, ammo. Uh, healing will take ammo. I'm actually trying to see if I stay uh, here long enough, will zombies come for me? Because I'm just above ground like this. Oh, we need to actually go do this one as soon as possible. Uh, if it's night time when we just start doing that, that's going to be a problem. But now, my drone is... In yep, it's here. Nice. Sometimes it gets stuck, but as soon as you drive far enough away, it just TPs right next to you. But yeah, before it turns night time... Oh, I'm not going to make it in time. So these zombies are going to be a little bit faster and stronger than usual. At least this is a tier 4 quest. Fortunately, level 5. We should be able to do tier 5 quests from a uh, scout now. Because of the fact that now we have the coil weapon. But I do want to save my coil until after we mined a bit. Because I need iron for casings. Um, the Caitlyn Trader resets day 31. So I want to go back and see if I can't buy some stuff. If I end up buying resources, so be it. No, I'm just going to drive back. Ooh! Ooh, you guys gave me a fright! Oopsie daisy. There you go. Oh, now we have zombies from all over coming due to feral sense. That just gave me a massive fright. The zombies just... Oh, wait, where am I going right now? Right here. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm your mortal enemy. Both of yours. Okay, let me just quickly get to over here so we can get to safety. I want to see what's coming for me. So we want to have the high ground. Why can't I reach that? Thank you. 
Okay, um, uh, what are you guys fighting over there? Yeah, yeah, come on, closer, closer, closer. We are just standing on wooden frames, so we need to be careful. Oh, wow, bad aiming. Um, just one or two shots from these zombies is enough to break it. The frame is break before you even realize what's happening, so we need to be careful. I keep hearing a bear, and I don't know if it's my imagination, or if it is actually just a bear chilling somewhere. Okay, I want to do this, this, and this. I want to do this. I want to throw the fire right there so it's going to hit most of the zombies. Whether it's going to work or not, I have no idea. This gun is actually really powerful against normal zombies, but as soon as it gets to demonic zombies, no chance. Okay, Lady Killer, all of you girls come for me. Come on, I sure am popular. Okay, I set myself ablaze, but that's fine. We have water. Okay, and then... Ooh! Hello! Nice. Oh, you guys are fast. You are super, 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 duper fast. Nice. Okay, uh, one or two left. Okay, I just want to do this. Wooden frame. Let's go. As long as I'm on a wooden frame like this, the zombies can't reach me too easily, but damn. <laughs> okay, my own fire did most of the damage just now, but that was way too close for comfort. And now we just have to go hand these in at the trader. Oh yeah, I forgot. Wait. Uh, this block is just higher, right? Yeah, that one's lower. But I say, how can I jump three blocks higher? That's impossible. We can't yet because I don't have my ability that high yet, do I? Parkour? No, I don't. I have to actually have to match this, max this out so I can just jump away. But for now, we want to go... Oh, I'm so close. See, that's why I need to use the pistol right now. Four points away from being able to max this out. And look at that. Increased fire rate of handguns, 35%. Reload, 30% faster. Increased damage by 50%. With pistol weapons on head attacks by 30%. Um, decapitation chance by 15 Wait. Yeah, head attacks, 30%. Just normal overall damage, 50%. And decapitation, 15%. Um, I do need to do this. We're going to go mining, so minus 69er. For those of you wondering, in Darkest Falls, it works a bit different. You can go mining with your auger, but if you mine with a steel pick, you get more resources. Um, I don't know if it's... Uh, well, I, I don't know if it's changed. Um, and, uh, and Alpha 19, that's the way it worked. Um, steel tools give you more resources. I can't see why you would change that, because it actually makes sense to just... The more effort you put in, the more you get back, back basically. Okay, uh, gun crafting. So we'll be able to craft any tier gun right now. So I'm going to do that. I want to be able to repair this pistol without losing quality. So the sooner we get that one to level uh, 5, uh, out of 5 for the pistol, the better. Okay, so weapon crafting. No, we don't need anything else right now. Tool crafting. I want to be able to craft myself some better tools. And I want to be able to craft myself some better armor. Repairing that's going to be the issue though. Okay, so we can go hand it in, but firstly, let's quickly go open up these trade routes over here. Last time I stopped, I, I thought there was nothing there when we were there, but it seems the town is just a little bit further on. So if I just persevered a bit, we would have actually gotten to where we needed to be. I need to be really, really careful. When you're out and about exploring like this, and you're not in your original chunk, you do come across wandering hordes a little bit more often. Because it's out of your uh, element, it's just in, into the danger, into the unknown. So when we're out here, we need to be careful that we don't spend too much time in a certain chunk because then the, uh, the wandering hordes will start coming for us again. If I see a lot of green like this, for example, we need to run. I just run. Why is my drone stopped? Oh, I damaged my drone, it seems. Damn, okay, I'm going to have to go back to my drone. I need a better quality drone, level 6 or, or no, uh, purple or red quality drone. The reason for that being is we need to be able to put more mods on it. So morale boosters, um, headlight clamps, so it actually we can see in the nighttime better. And there's also one that gives it armor. There's a, a drone armor. If you have that on your drone, then it doesn't take as much damage. It was one Molotov from me, and it seems it breaks the drone completely. I need to get more of these stone pillars, guys. You can get like 12,000 stone just from one pillar like that. Especially with our skills maxed right now, the minus 69 and that stuff. I need to see if Motherload is also part of the minus 69 or not 
if mother load is part of it then we can we don't have to worry because then we will get the most resources out of it when we go mining i, I always get so confused between the different mod skills especially when you're playing two mods that are completely different because this is like alpha 9 and, and 9 to 13 up for 19 uh, 13 skills that you actually have to know hello trader out here in the middle of nowhere just double tap that's all okay what i want to check out is why you need to be careful sometimes these traders wait oh, okay we need to kill these guys i don't want them breaking in over here Sometimes these traders have some really awesome stuff, or they are zombie traders. But I don't think we get an open uh, trade routes to a zombie trader. Unless uh, you actually get there and they're like, oh no, I can't believe that outpost has been overrun. That'd be cool. But the fact that there's a middle workstation, a mechanic workbench, a workbench, a big forge. What is this trader? I need to go talk to the trader. This might actually be Razor or something. The fact that there's so many workstations over here. I don't see a scout though. No, 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 don't destroy the gates. I'll be there right now. Oh, I was wondering why the light was going up and down, up and down. Wait, where is the trader? Am I missing? Oh, nice. It's a shame we can't find a trader like this in the wasteland. The loot will all be per uh, purple quality and up. We need to make sure everything says empty or oh, not uh, untouched anymore. Let's go. Are you gonna purchase? Hello, Razor. It is Razor. Nice. On this one. Here's some money. Wait, sell price. Oh, that's actually cheap for ammo, isn't it? Oh, quest reward. Uh, okay, let's see. I need some seven six two ammo as well. Need jobs retrieve some ply. Oh, nice. Okay, so Razor is his own small like quest line and stuff. I think it's basically like the Kate, uh, not Caitlin. What's the other one? Um, Eve. It's like Eve's uh, quest line, right? This quest shouldn't be too far away as well. Someone actually said I shouldn't be afraid of double looting, like looting and doing the quest again and looting again. Because it's not like you're doing it for free. You're wasting ammo and taking out zombies and stuff. But for me, it's also more about the repetition as well. Wait, how far away is this quest? Um, Did I accept the quest or not? I could have sworn I did just now. Fear and retrieve supplies and then talk to trader. No, it just says return to trader. So it's not that one. Where is this? Find White River Supplies. Okay, this is actually really weird. Where is this quest? It doesn't want to show on the map. Like, is there something over here that I'm missing? Like, I'm supposed to find it inside of here? It says, Retrieve Supplies nearby. What is nearby? It can't be inside of here, right? It has to be, like, in a building next door. But the fact that it's not showing me exactly where bothers me. It's supposed to show on the map where this quest is, but it's not showing on the map. Uh, let me just try that again. Ask me to, uh, to go to a location and retrieve some supplies for him. But it doesn't show where the location is. The quest does not have a location to show. Do I need to talk to him again to get a better understanding? What's going on? Look at treasure nearby. It just says treasure. So I'm wondering if we're just going to find it somewhere. It's not on the map. It's supposed to show on the map where we're supposed to go. Like X marks the spot. But I'm not seeing anything. So I don't know if my eyes are just bad. And it's actually showing you somewhere. There's no town. No marker. Nothing over here. That is unfortunate. So we're just going to keep on going. And open up more trade routes. And we think that's going to be another tra uh, razor. Um, you just have quests, so I don't know why I can't do this quest. Guys, just comment down below, uh, how do you do this quest line? Is it supposed to show on the map? Is mine just bugged? 
what's going on over here? But imagine in the beginning when you're just starting out finding this compound. That'd be so damn epic. You wouldn't have to worry about a single thing. I remember that I thought that was a marker, but it's just a zombie. Come on. Imagine this is another razor. That'd be kind of cool as well. <laughs> but too many razors is going to make it actually a little bit uh, sucky. If this is in the middle of a town, then we know it's just a normal trader. If it's not, then we know it's another razor. Come on. Drive around, drive around. I need a better vehicle as well. Someone says, I should actually see if we can't make ourselves like the buggy or something. Even if it's not as fast, we need something with storage. So I'm just able to loot, 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 loot without having to worry about going back to the trade every now and then. Okay, this seems like it might be a normal trader. Okay, so we actually found Razor on the first try. That's weird, isn't it? And this, this is also a Razor. I can't see this being a Razor because it's just a normal trader compound. I love the bars going around there. It makes it so much easier to hit the zombies and see the zombies all over. It's back here. This is the scout, right? Yes, what that's the right of a scout. And I need to talk to the actual trader over here to be able to hand this in. Okay, I want to make sure they don't break in while I'm over here. Remember guys, now they only need one block to get through. So if you or see something, annihilate them, kill them fast. Yeah, I should probably just pick up all the loot as well. Because one of these might actually drop some really good loot. But at the moment, I'm just more interested in getting to the trader quickly and talking to him. Oh, you're almost through. It seems these gangsters are the real threat at the moment. Oh, crap. I almost stepped on a barbed fence. Oh, nice. Someone behind me. Yep, that was a radio feral or something. I just managed to see it uh, in the uh, corner of my eye. Hello. See, there's so many zombies all over. That by the time you actually decide you want to go inside and talk to... Oh! Oh, that gave me a fire just now. Okay. I even wasted my, one of my good bullets on that one. Please, 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 please tell me there's some good loot over here. We have the right glasses on, yes. Actually, I've, I've had the wrong glasses on for a while now. Do that. Talk to you. Boom. Okay, so we can do... I should probably do quests for as many traders as possible. But going all over the map... Uh, wait, is this the... No, that's the question mark? That's a trader blinking. Why is it blinking on the map? It just bothers me that it doesn't show you where I'm supposed to do the Razor's Quest. The Razor's Quest is here somewhere. I just can't figure out where the hell. Okay, so let's really go back to our, for our drone over there. <laughs> can't believe that I accidentally forgot my drone. Ooh, that cow just gave me a fright. I turned and I just saw something big and hulking. I thought it might actually be a Titan or something. But I think we're driving too much. We're driving too fast right now. So the chances of a, a titan actually seeing us and coming for us is actually really low. I wonder if that red light over there is actually my trader. In the distance. That is. That's my trader over there. Or rather, the building right next to my trader. So it actually marks where on the map you're supposed to go without even checking. All you have to look for is the red dot in the distance and then you're set. Okay, so it wasn't exactly the trader that was making that light. It was the building right next to it. But it shines so damn far, you're able to see it from really far away. And since we know it's right next to the trader, we don't have to worry about where the trader is. Also guys, I need to destroy the gold blocks because that's what's creating a ton of the lag as well. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're wearing the right glasses. How may I serve you? Let's see. Ooh, ooh, okay, yeah, let's just grab this and a shotgun ammo for now. Um, I'm grabbing that because we need to do the other classes as well, but... I'm actually torn. I should buy. I should get this for the cash, but I want to get some ammo. 
want to make sure that we are never ever worried okay now uh we need to do start doing Can the level five quest as you guys know that means demonics i hope it's not like 10 or demo uh, so demonics that's bringing spawn. counterfeit money in here are you nice notes we have this we have shotguns i wonder if i shouldn't go for this one Military fibers. What are we going to need military fibers for? Nothing in this one, right? As soon as we have a laser workbench, we're going to combine all the steel axes. So I wonder if I should go for this one. We have enough shotguns at the base to repair this one for a few repairs. So for now, I think let's just go for this one. Okay, fetch quests so easy enough. Let's get the fetches. You better not fuck this up. Okay, I think I'm just going to go to the uh, to my base and drop everything off, guys. See, it's gonna be a level. It's gonna be the shotgun fetch again. So if we just do fetches for now, level five, that's fine. Um, that one's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> I, I think next uh, time we're first gonna go for the small bunker, and then we're gonna do the man eater because the man eater is definitely gonna spawn some demonics. But after that episode, I need to go and mine the hell out of resources. We need iron for iron casings or steel casings, and we need lead. Now we bought lead from the Caitlin trader. Oh, I wanna go to the Caitlin as well. Um, hmm, let's go for the bunker and Caitlyn next time. I think that's better for now because I want to see if the Kate, uh, if Caitlyn has reset and she doesn't have perhaps have better stuff. Now that we've already also looted and gotten some stuff, we might be able to sell these as well. So I'm quickly going to do a little bit of inventory management and then just see what I can sell, what I want to keep, all that stuff. And then we're going to go and explore. Guys, I need to get rid of all these corpses. They're causing so much lag. But I'm going to have to do power attacks for each one just to make sure that I get it in the first shot. Look at all the bones as well. Damn. I forgot the Darkest Fools actually provides you with bones when they die now. I can actually... How many of you guys remember Gore Blocks? It was actually like diamond or oval... No, it was diamonds. Diamond shaped blocks. Uh, but the only problem is the, the stacks would get so big that zombies could actually climb the stacks to get on top of your base. And then I can't even remember when they took that out of the game, but they completely changed it up. Guys, I am so weary right now. I haven't had a Wandering Horde in a really long time. And there's still corpses over there. So I'm just going to go and do a little bit of inventory management first. So yeah, but we haven't had a Wandering Horde in a really long time. So I'm starting to get paranoid right now. Like where, when, or, uh, what kind of hordes it's going to be. If you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I miss anything or I think about this episode. Anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.